What's going on folks? It's Larry with Packmaster Dog Training here. Uh, in the next next couple of clips here, I did a little filming with the uh, the awesome Rottweiler we have here, uh, Death Row. Yes, his name is Death Row. Big, beautiful dog. And, uh, you know, he's pretty hard-headed like a lot of male Rottweilers can be. And when he decides he's not going to do something, he's, he's not going to do it. But I just filmed a couple very simple things here before the training even starts. So you kind of get an idea of what he looks like when he has here. And to be honest, I filmed this dog for two reasons. For one, I love Rottweilers. That's my favorite breed in the world. And, and they just do something to me. You'll hear me talking like a little girl, very sissy-like, many times while he's here. Because I just, I, I love the breed and I love this dog. And, and, and for two, you get to see... There is no big dramatic change I can make in him. Like, he's, he doesn't have real bad major issues, so it's nothing sexy and exciting. But that's a lot of the dogs we deal with. So you're going to see a lot of very simple stuff here, but sometimes that's what people ask for. So uh, I hope this helps. In the first clip, you'll see his reluctance to come near me and how he fights the leash. Then in the second clip, you'll, you'll see, you know, it's about an hour later, how he's loosening up to me a little bit. And then I take him for a walk, and you see that we start becoming buds before we start the formal training that you'll see towards the end. So I, I, hope, this, I hope this helps and answers some of your questions. Yeah, if you have any questions, you could hit me up. Um, if you, if you want to see more videos, uh, please, uh, please uh, comment and share these videos for me if, if you don't mind. Okay, subscribe to my channel. All right, guys, here we go. Here's our... Beautiful Rottweiler that'll be staying with us for two weeks. His name is Death Row. Hey, Death Row. What do you think, bub? Come here, boy. Death Row, come. Oh, no. He said, no, you ain't getting me to go nowhere. Death Row, come. Yeah. Now, that's a, that's a Rottweiler that says, no, nah, I'm not going to do anything you ask. But he'll be a good boy before he leaves. We'll enjoy him. It's nice having a beautiful Rottweiler around. Best breed in the world right there. He's just got a lot to learn. That's all. Looking forward to it. Hey, Death Row. Here. You want to come with me? No? Oh, he said, yeah. There, there. There we go. What do you think, bub? Come here, Death Row. Come on, bub. What do you want to do? Let's go learn. You want to go learn? You want to go learn, pal? He just got here a little while ago, and he's a he's a little stressed. He had a rough car ride, very rough car ride. He won't get in the car, so we got a lot to work on. So uh, he'll be part of our family for a couple of weeks. We'll keep you posted. Death Row, come, come on, boy. Oh, that's a good boy. Oh, now you want to hang out? We're becoming buddies. Oh, I know. Come on, you want to follow me on your own now? Oh, that's a good boy. See, we're becoming friends, guys. After about an hour, just hanging out a few times, five, ten minutes here, and just building the relationship. That's it. No training, just building the relationship. So in a day or two, we'll have that trust and that relationship to where the real training could start. Death Row! Come on, boy. Come on, boy. Oh, that's my boy. We're going to be good friends. Say hi to the camera. Say hi, we're gonna be good friends, right? See, now I walk and he follows. So we're just getting a little bit of trust there. It's not so scary anymore. He does suffer from some uh, containment confinement though. More like claustrophobic because I, I put him in a bigger pen and he's doing fine now, but he has trouble. Hey, don't pee on your leg, buddy. Hey, death row, come on, death row. What a brother now, come on. Come on, say hi to Terminator X, I know. No, not many people will get that. Not many people will get that, I know. I know, he's such a good boy, he's beautiful. I'm in love, I'm in absolute love. Especially once the trust comes, that's my boy. That's my boy, Death Row. Look at that, even his balls are cool. Hey Death Row, what you got there, buddy? What you got? Hey Death Row, come. Come here. Come say hi. Come say hi to everyone. Come on, bub. Let's go. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Love this dog already. I know him probably an hour. He's a beautiful boy. We're going to have a good folks. time. So it's uh, Death Row's first morning here. He did very well last night. Didn't do good in the crate, but did very good in the pen. So he doesn't like being confined. 
but I just wanted to show you guys so many of you dog owners struggle still to this day with having your dog walk nice next to you on a leash I want to show you it's been what 12 15 hours here and um, I didn't work on this you see where he's at you see that no tension walking at my side we didn't work on that I didn't teach anything the point is we already have that that trust and that bond and that respect so he wants to be with me they just do it they just do it naturally they walk with you I've never taught any of my dogs to walk nicely on a loose leash next to me they just do it they want to be with me not running up ahead so we moved along with him he really took to me a lot faster than I thought and uh, I'm really, really excited about this dog. I just, there's just something, for me anyway, something different about a beautiful Rottweiler, man. It just, they get in my heart real easy. And uh, I'm going to enjoy him, but today we'll start some of the more formal training. And I'll film little pieces here and there and keep you posted. But he's doing fantastic. What do you think, Death Row? Say morning. He's a good looking boy. We'll keep you posted. Thanks, guys. I'm here with Death Row. Um, he came here Sunday. You guys saw a few clips of what we've done before, which is nothing. I'm just building that bond and that relationship with him. I've worked on a marker word with him, but he's not very food motivated, so we'll see if we can use it today. Um, you guys hear me keep saying training starts before the training starts, and you guys ask me about doorways. So before I put the leash on this dog, I need him in the right mindset. When we go to that door, I need him respecting my space. So when that door opens, he's not allowed to go anywhere. I don't speak to him, I don't give commands, I don't care if he sits, stands, you know, or downs, it doesn't matter. I just want him respecting that area. Then we go from there, okay? So let's see what he does here. Since we came out already, he's probably not going to go anywhere. Good. So see, he has to respect this threshold right here. This is very, very important to me. Um, when I'm training a dog, this is all important, okay? The good thing is they get it instantly. I don't have to say nothing to them. They all understand what this means. Go figure, they understand it. Nonverbal communication, you know? If you can get a dog to understand you and do what you're asking without saying anything, that speaks volumes. That's what they understand. So here he gets it. So from there, then we go. Good, good job, buddy. Okay, guys. A couple of the reasons why Death Row is here. A couple of things we have to work on. His owner owns a big farm in Kentucky. He plans on taking Death Row out there a lot with him, and he's going to be off leash. One of his issues is he doesn't come when called. Okay, so we have to have that solid recall. Another issue is he doesn't want to get in the car or the truck. He's really scared of the car and the truck. Um, I have a golf cart I'm going to be using here to start introducing him to that process slowly. And the other thing I noticed is when I brought him to a place board yesterday to see if he'd go on it, he was very scared of that too. He wouldn't go on it. So I didn't want to work through that. I wanted to save it for today so I could show I hope he is scared to go on there so I could show you how we work through that. If he is, we'll fix it. If he's not, then we'll move on to the golf cart, okay? So we're not going to do this for very long. Like I said, this is kind of our first formal training session. He got here Sunday. Today is Tuesday. We're just starting the work now, okay? So let's see what he does. Come here, bub. And he's not very food motivated also. So we'll see what he does with the food. I don't know if he'll even want anything. Let's see what he does when we take him close to the place for it. So there you go. He goes around it. Doesn't want to touch it, right? He has that fear of it. So he goes around it. So he's weary of the place for it. That's okay. Let's get him up there now, all right? Now, he's a big, giant, super heavy dog. That's gonna make it a little more weary on him when he stands on there and he feels it give. So let's see what we can do to lure him up there, okay? Come here, bub. Ah. See, when he decides he's not gonna do something, that's it, but that's what I wanted. That's exactly what I wanted, so we can work through this. All right, bub, let's do this, come on. You're my boy. Let's do this. Ready? Come on. Come on. Come here, boy. Come here. Come on, bud. You can do it. 
do this, okay? Okay. Add a boy. Come on, boy. Come on, Death Row. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ah. Come on, you can do this. No. Alright. Now we're gonna use some movement. Ready, bud? Come on. Come on, bud. Come on. Yes! Good boy! Now, you see what I did there? He kicked it by accident. The second that leg touched it, I marked and rewarded that. Many of you are gonna say, why don't you just drag him up there? Simple. If I was to drag him up there, pulling, fighting, screaming, for one, he's a super powerful dog, but even if he wasn't, is that something the owner can do himself? Why would he be paying me a lot of money to drag his dog on a place board when he could do it himself? So my whole purpose here is to change up here, change the mindset to where he wants to go up there. So let's see what we could do. Come on, boy. Come on. Oh. Step up. Step up. Sit. Yes. Good boy. Good boy. Step up. Come. Yes. All right. Ready? You're gonna go over this thing, bub. Come on. Come here. Come on, boy. Let's go. Let's go, bub. Yes. Good boy. There you go. Oh. Look, look at my boy. Come here. Did you see how incredible you did? It's like you just won a gold medal. Do you see what I mean there, guys? I, you don't have to fight that, man. You give them the power. You make them think that they have all the power. And when they do something that simple, it's the greatest thing in the world. Good boy. Good boy. All right, ready? Good job. All right, ready? Ready, bud? Come on, let's get up here. Come here, no, no, you can come, come on, you can do this. All right, ready? Sit. Yes. Good. So we put him back into work, something else. Come on, boy. Come on. Come on. Yes. Good boy, Death Row. Good boy. Good boy. All right, ready? 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 Come on, come on. Come with me now. Come on, you can do this. Come here, no. That a boy, yes. Look at me, look at, look at you. You're doing some incredible stuff here. That's some good stuff. Good. good. Now I'm gonna take him on from the long ways. Good boy, buddy. It'll be easier for him to balance on it. Ready? Come here. Come on, you can do it. Yes. Yes, now I'm stopping him there with my body. Yes, that's my boy. That's my boy. That's my boy. Good job, good job. Okay, guys. So you see, that took what, 30 seconds? I didn't have to force anything. You don't force that. He kicked it by accident with his leg and I rewarded that. Like, man, what you did was pretty special. Not any dog can do that. I know that's not true, but he doesn't. So we'll stop there. That's how we start the process when a dog doesn't want to get on something. Now we have the golf cart here. He's scared of cars, all right? And I just so happen to have my buddy's golf cart while he's on vacation. So let's see if we can get him just to walk through it. I want him to walk through the golf cart right now and that's it, all right? If we can do that, then we can build on that. Go for a ride. You are grand champion. Come on, boy. Come on, Death Row. You got, I got you. Oh, man. Look at, look what you did. Look what you did. <laughs> look what you did, buddy. Good, good. Okay. So what you see, yesterday he was scared to death to go near that thing. So we have that trust now to where he's okay with coming to me. He trusts me. I got myself down low, which made myself more inviting. But it also stopped him. My body was at the end, so when he came on, he had to stand there. This is very simple stuff, and it will be very trivial to a lot of people, especially, especially experienced trainers, guys. But what you have to understand... There's tons of dog owners out there and a lot of young trainers that don't understand how to do these simple things. That's why this first video I'm making with him 
with the other clips that you saw before this. It's, it's really simple and very basic, but it's important because you need to understand that stuff before you go anywhere else. Let's do it one more time. All right, pal, ready? We'll do it from this side so Sophia can see good. All right, watch. All right, bud, all right. Okay, and this might even make a difference because the steering wheel's here, I don't know. Come on, buddy. Oh, man, look at my big, brave Rottweiler. Oh, that's my boy. That's my boy. I'm so proud of you, buddy. Look at me. Look at me. Look into my eyes. Look into my eyes. Do you see the love? Do you see the love? I love you so much. I love this dog. I love him so much. Look at this. So he's got a lot of fears, guys. Even though he's a big, tough, strong dog, he's got a lot of fears and insecurities. I'm going to fix that. And I'm going to fix that with a lot of good no conflict communication this is simple stuff but i just wanted you to see the beginning and then i'll update you on the progress okay thanks folks